Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Teshua Community. I'm Ima Raphael, and this morning we have a nice little treat for the daughters of Tazayan. Only the daughters. We're going to share scripture with you. We're going to start with our elders first on the left-hand side, and we'll come around for elders, middle age, and our young daughters. Hallelujah. We want to encourage the daughters of Tazayan that you'll always stand strong in an hour like this. And just because you're young don't mean you shouldn't obey Torah. Or just because you're old, you think you're just going into the kingdom. Well, it doesn't work that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must strive every day to live cold dash, clean, and set apart for Almighty Yah. So this morning, our elder you're going to hear from first will be a whole Abbey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, Hokey. Okay. Yahweh broke you all. The scripture verse that I will be uh, sharing with you all today will come from Tehillim chapter 121 verse 1 and 2. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from which cometh my help, mm -hmm. my help coming from Yahweh, which made the Shemayas and the holy. And the verse, the, the verse that I'm, uh, it, this, these verses are special to me. And the reason they're so special to me is because there was a time in my life last year that my only help came from Almighty Yahweh. That was my only strength and my only help that I had was Almighty Yahweh. And the, uh, the, the prayer that I cried unto Almighty Yahweh, it came from Tehillim chapter 51 verse 1. Yahweh, have hot have seat upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out my transgression. And then if you read on down that verse, chapter 51, it also said, Create in me a clean heart and renew the right Ruah within me. And then go and say, Cast me not away from that present. Take not that Kodesh Ruah from me. And that, that was my strength, and it kept me encouraged to continue on. And I hope, I just hope, I pray that these stretches bless you all and encourage you and strengthen you and, and give you encouragement. Shalom. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom. shalom, shalom. I'm Emma Chabelle, the eldest of all. In the last couple of weeks, I've thought on the scripture and thought on the scripture. I shared it with my daughter, Emma Raphael. I must, I must go through many hard times to enter y'all's kingdom. And that, was, and that was taken from Shalishian 14.22. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. 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 Shalom, shalom. My shalom. name is Ahok Ahaniah. The scripture that I'm going to read was given to me back in 2014. It comes from Haggai, chapter 1, verse 5 and verse 7. Yah tells us three very important words. He says, consider your ways, not your neighbor, not your mama, not your dad, your ways. As I read the scripture, it is always directed toward me. It's a very personal thing because I must consider my way. As I came out of the world into this walk of life, transitioning from the world into this walk of life, I had to consider my ways. We cannot enter into the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh with our mind. It must be a mind that is kingdom-minded, always focused on what we hear in Torah. That's the only way that we're going to make it in. Haggai tells us in chapter 1, verse 5, he says this. He says, now, not tomorrow, now, therefore, thus saith the sovereign of hosts, consider your ways. He once again says that in verse 7. He says, thus saith the sovereign of hosts, consider your ways. Hallelujah. When Yah tells us something one time, it's worthy of hearing. But when he says it two times, there's a woe behind it, and we should always consider what Yah is saying to us. What is he saying? Consider your life, consider your public and your private life, consider your works, consider what you do in the kingdom of Almighty Yahweh as well as in your personal life. Consider your service to Almighty Yahweh. Do you have a prayer life, or is it, I just go to prayer? Do you study Torah? Do you hear the messenger? When you hear the messenger and the message, do you take that message and embrace it in your life? Not looking around to say, that's for them or that's for her. No, it's for you. And as hard as it may be, we must learn to embrace that truth, take it 
and ask y'all, help me, Yahweh, no, that I may live no, 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 no. this clean Kodesh life in your Torah. There's only one way, Yahshua HaMashiach. That's the only way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May Yahweh Baruch you all. Shalom, shalom, Hokim. My name is Ahot Shemaya, and my scripture is coming from Ephesians 2 and 10. And it says, for we are his workmanship, created in Yahshua for tov works, which Yahweh prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And the reason I chose that scripture, because it's to every day to keep me humble, to realize when Yahweh woke me up this morning, it was not to do my own will or what I wanted to do, but it was because he called me to do something on that day. And I just have to keep that in mind, to keep me humble, to keep me grounded, to keep me on the right path. And throughout the day, if I'm feeling confused or don't know what to do, I can just refer back to that scripture and say, okay, Yahweh, you created me for a purpose. Just give me a little help right now to guide my steps so I can do what is right. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, and greetings. I am Ahot Sakia. The scripture that I'm going to bring and encourage you all with today is what encouraged my lead as Rayox preached on Wednesday night, keep based scripture. If you hadn't heard that message, you better pull it up. Wednesday yeah. scripture, and these are one of the scriptures that he, wrote, he read. And it says in Ephesians chapter six, finally, my whole king, be strong in Yahweh and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness and high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, just stand. Yahweh Baruch you all. Hallelujah. Great job. Shalom, shalom. I'm a Hot Yorona. And my scripture is coming from James 4 and 7. And it says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to Yah. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. And this scripture spoke to me, and it was telling me, as a young daughter, yield yourself to the authority, those who have the rule over you, and unto Yah. Surrender, surrender everything that you think you know to Yahweh. Surrender yourself. Resist, withstand the evilness of your own self because there is no tough thing in this flesh of mine. Oppose it, ignore it, and Yah will give you freedom because it said, and it will flee from you. So Toda Yah for freedom. Toda Yah, hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. I'm a host Shekinah. And the scripture I chose for you this day for us, for me, was from Titus 3 and 5. It says, not by works of righteousness, yes. which we have done, but according to his high seed, Hallelujah. he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Ruach. Hallelujah. I chose this because I know that it's not by my righteousness, nothing that I've done, not my parents, what they brought me up in, but it's only by the high seat of Yahweh okay. that he chose me to stand here today to be saved. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take his washing of my leg, of my mind, to regenerate me and my ruah to make it into the kingdom. Alleluia. Yahweh Barak, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, Hallelujah. Shalom, 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 Shalom. Shalom. My name is Aho Anna, and the scripture that I chose today is coming from Tehelium 116 and verse 8. O oh, Yahweh, for thou hast delivered my nephesh from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. And I chose that verse because it helps me remember what Yah did for me. He took the time to even consider saving me. Because if he didn't, I would have been on my way to hell. And I told him for that. So Yahweh Baruch, you are a king. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. My name is Hadassah. My scripture is coming from 1 Thessalonians 5, 15 through 18. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is tough, of both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore, pray Amen. without ceasing, in everything give Torah, for this is the will of Yah concerning you. Amen. 
Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom. My name is Sarah, and my scriptures come from James chapter 3, verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then shalom, gentle and easy to be entreated, full of high seed and tough fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Shalom. Shalom. My name is Ahava, and my scripture is coming from 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of Yah, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of Yah may be perfect, through, thoroughly furnished into all tough works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom. My name is Sephora, and my scripture is coming from Proverbs chapter 6, verse 23. For the command is a lamp, and the Torah a light, and the reproofs of instruction are a way of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And last but not least, Wednesday night service, Rayak came from Yakahan. Yakahan chapter 10, verse 10. And it reads, it says, The thief comes not but for to steal, yes. to kill, True. and to destroy. Yes. Yah says, I have sent Yahshua mm -hmm. that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes. Yahshua came to give us life. Yes, yeah. I want to go to Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse, hallelujah. Chapter 30, verse, oh my, is it 30? Hold on a minute, praise Yah. Verse 19, it says, I call the Shemayim and the Olam to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, yes. blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, Hallelujah. that both you and your seed may live. Yes. Yah said, I come. He sent Yahshua, that we may choose life. Yes. Not the way of the world, not the things of the world, but to choose life, and Yahshua is life. Yes. That's why he gives us this truth, that we may grab hold to it and apply it to our lives. It may make a change in our lives. You know, many people say they know Almighty Yah. Once you come to the knowledge of the, the name, that's not it. Yes. You have to start walking in this truth. Yes. You must hear the messenger. You can't go on your understanding or what you think it might be. You must hear the messenger that Almighty Yah has sent. Yes. Once you hear, you must obey and apply to your life. True. You know, there was a time you hear many people say that they're Christians. Well, what does that mean? If you're a Christian, you're a follower of Jesus, or you're a follower of the Lord, what does that mean? If you're following this book, daughters, listen to me, if you're following this book, it brings about a change. Yahshua has come to make us free. Free from all ways, the way your mother brought you up, and the way your father brought you up, the way your grandma brought you up. You got to abandon all those things, and you must choose life. Yahshua is that life. My last scripture verse is going to be, um, Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 12. It says, gather the people together, men and women and children, and the stranger in your gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and the fear of Yah, your Abba, and to observe and to do all the words of this Torah. He says, children, men, women, even the stranger in your home. You must hear this truth. Yes. You must learn the ways it's of Almighty truth. God. Yes. Not the ways of the world, because the only thing the Christians talk about is getting more and more and more. Yes. Money, 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 cars, yes. things, that's all they talk about. They never consider the poor. No. They're arrogant, they're haughty. Yes. You think the more money you got, you got something where you have nothing. Without Truth. Without this truth, you have nothing. It's true. I'm free. I have the shalom of Almighty Yah. Who the Son sets free, yes. makes free. And Granny always tell, who the Son makes free is free indeed. So we're free this morning. We're free to share scripture with you this morning. So daughters, if you're out there and you're going through, I pray today that one of these uh, sisters have helped you today. We went from the oldest to the youngest. Can I tell you, there's nothing new under the sun. Get, 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 it's not going to get you understanding. 
But once you have an experience with Almighty Yah, you must have an experience with Him. That's yes. true. You have. Can I tell you, change everything about you. That's the you truth. You hear the elders, you change your attitude. Yes. True. Hallelujah. You, you get out of your moody funk yes. and you start walking in truth. That's so true. may Yah barack you this day. We hope we have helped you this day. Mm -hmm. And Yahshua yeah. sure will be back with you soon with a message that Rayak has given me for his first to me. It can't be that I'm doing my own thing or what I want to do and not obey this truth because can I tell you, the gates of hell will await me. Yeah. It's so true. So today, I'm going to strive with all that is within yes. me to do that which is pleasing before yes. Almighty Yahweh. Shalom, shalom, and we hope we bless you all. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, Whisper that. Shalom. Shalom. Yahweh Baruch. Shalom. Shalom. Yahweh Baruch. Shalom. 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 Shalom.